Look at our history, oppression, revolution, feudal kings, republican dreams, capitals reign, communes that collapse, from right to left, from center to edge, each face of the spectrum tried and failed. Nothing holds, nothing works. Systems fail, fronted by fickle beings who fail themselves, locked in structures we strain to understand, a world so frighteningly complex, shifting like sand beneath our feet. Changes. Same old shit, different day. Capitalism wears feudalism's face. Communism becomes a monarchy, a dynasty of kings cloaked in red. We are in hell, all right, individuals fighting for their opinions in a world of eight billion voices, each shouting for their own subjective version of truth. Democracy, once bright with promise, reveals the folly of our hopes, votes cast by greedy masses who argue endlessly. Only to reverse come another four or five years, and matters raised are mere distractions, Diversionary tales spun to blind the eyes of the masses from the crooked ways of their masters. The pot keeps stirring, a recipe for disaster dressed as a feast, a grand spread for all. But only the lucky few taste the fruits of the harvest. The rest scrape for crumbs, and even then they receive only what serves the monsters at the top. Hungry for more control, hungry for more from those below. We build, we break. We cycle back and call it change. Every human is bent, none a saint fit to light the way. It's all rentier capitalism. The powerful end up owning the benefits of all the resources from land to food, financial traps and software algorithms. Boom or bust, it does not matter. The house always wins. Democracy sucks, sure, but we have nothing else. This is all we have. Efforts to fight back, as naive as they sometimes are. Maybe we'll pass the job of our governance to artificial intelligence, but who will code its morals? The powerful manipulate the autistic programmers and have them at their beck and call, easily making strange men and women feel good with flattery and monopoly money, so that they will continue building an all-encompassing trap for humanity, so pervasive, so beyond change, completely beyond rebellion. Of course, nothing presently works. But behold, the future of stagnation, without even a pretense of democracy, is coming. A centralized power. World War III will be fought for this inevitability, to see who can get there first. A utilitarian's wet dream that will fuck us all, and not in a good way. Oh, the end is nigh, all right but it will be no instant finish, just a simmering torment for homo sapiens. Biological beings stripped of agency, dignity, voice, plugged into their own crematorium, fuel for mechanisms that will leave the vast proportion of our species as a pile of ashes blowing in a cold, careless wind. As strange psychopaths laugh into the future,